Right. So after your uh, types of solutions, let us come back and uh, learn the definition of solubility. So solubility, if I have to define specifically, if they do ask you define solubility, how should you start your answer? Now I'm going to describe or define you the solubility of a solute in solvent. Okay, this is what is the concept now I said solute is a minimum quantity uh, which is present in the minimum quantity and solvent is <coughs> sorry which is present in the maximum quantity that solubility basically when I have to define start like this it is <coughs> it is the maximum amount of the Okay, now we are speaking about this dissolved in this, isn't it? Right, it is a maximum amount of the substance. Okay, that substance is nothing but your sol solute. Amount of the substance or the solute dissolved in 100 grams of a solvent at a specified means that particular specific temperature and pressure specified temperature and pressure is called solubility okay it's called solubility that simple isn't it nothing to explain here we're picking up 100 grams of a solvent and how much over the maximum amount of that solute which can com dissolve completely in that sol solvent is called solubility now again we have a cat different uh, types of uh, solubility what is that suppose if the particular solute is completely miscible completely m-i-s-c-i-b-l-e completely miscible one category if the solute is immiscible <coughs> one category if the solute is partially miscible is one category that means suppose if the solute uh, dissolves in the solvent at all proportions completely soluble you know they uh, at all whatever ratio you take at all proportions if the solute is, is soluble or dissolved in that particular solvent I call completely miscible suppose if the solute is not soluble in the solvent then I call immiscible suppose if I if the solute is is soluble in the solvent only till that limited temperature that limited concentration only to that limited uh, uh, this is only conditions then only call it as partially after that suppose if that limit if you're changing the temperature if you're changing the pressure you know that miscibility will not will disappear and they form two separate layers so let us come back and define completely miscible is are the uh, miscible solutions are those where a solute dissolves in the solvent at all proportions point number one immiscible is the solute is completely uh, uh, not dissolving or it will not be soluble in the solvent that means they form two layers done partially miscible solutions are those in which the solute dissolves in the solvent only to that limited conditions yes those are the definitions when i have to write the def examples the simplest example i'll not be taking typical examples because basically one example or if you learn that's more than enough if I take ethanol in dissolved in water, they're completely miscible. Yes, colorless solutions done. When I have to come to <coughs> immiscible solutions, carbon tetrachloride in water, this is completely immiscible. Both will form separate layers in the uh, uh, separate uh, that funnel you have, isn't it? Your, where you separate both the liquids, separating funnel. Yes, they form two different layers. When I have to speak about partially miscible, what for example, if I take below a uh, 70 degrees right below 70 degrees phenol dissolves in water done now beyond 70 degree if you increase the temperature immediately that becomes immiscible and they form two separate layers so the condition for here uh, for phenol is only till 70 miscible miscibility but beyond that it will form two separate layers so these are the basic definitions of the sol solubility completely miscible immiscible and partially miscible 
so, <clears throat> so let us come back and start with the first topic of the chapter that is your part one that is section i divided the chapter into four subtopics isn't it section a b and c a b c and d now in section a let us start with the types of solutions as well as we're going to learn about concentration units so when i have to speak about the solutions definition the basic definition let us write the solutions definition so solutions what what are these these are solutions are a homogeneous mixture of substances so this mixture can be what how many it can be two or more so it is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances let us be clear mixture of two or more substances done okay then i have given homo i hope you know what is homo homo means a same done now important thing this particular uh, if it is two or more we said it is a solution now suppose if you have only two then we call it as binary solution so now in a binary solution so binary means two as the name suggests bi means two so in a binary solution the substance which is present in the maximum amount that is for example if i take a sugar solution the basic sugar sugar solution it's a quite common example everybody takes so in sugar solution sugar is present in smaller quantity and your water is present in more so the one which is present in the maximum amount is called the solvent and that is your water the one which is present in the minimum amount that is your sugar is your solute let us come back and see in a binary solution the substance present in major quantity quantity is called <coughs> solvent done in the same way the substance present in minor quantity is called solute now the same story i took sugar solution isn't it so in sugar solution the solvent is your water and the solute is your sugar this is your basic definition for solution nobody will ask you this but you should know at least the basic definition that so when i have to come back to the classification types of solutions now i said solution can be two or more or if it is two it is a binary solution now i picked up a list of uh, binary solutions now what do we have suppose if i have a solution in which a combination is gas and gas how do they ask this in the exam they may ask you like this give the type of solution in which uh, one of the uh, this one suppose like this i'll okay, i'll frame the question smoke is a solution with a combination of what are the two ingredients of that particular smoke so that uh, you have to be very careful or aerosol is a combination or what are the two ingredients present or what are the two substances present with which aerosol is composed of in that way they're going to ask you so that's why i've given you a table please try to memorize this table you may be asked for one mark so here if i am making a solution with gas and gas so it is that particular component with that it's called it air in the same way aerosol is a combination of liquid and gas smoke is a combination of solid and gas <clears throat> hydrogen uh, hydrogen uh, gas on the surface of palladium now hydrogen is a gas palladium metal is a solid now mercury in amalgamated zinc the combination is liquid and solid what is the liquid this one mercury is a liquid solid is zinc now alloys in alloys is a combination of metals isn't it so that we have both solid and solid done now here when i have one gas and one liquid i call it a soft aerated soft drinks what is a gas in that carbon dioxide under pressure has incorporated in the liquid that is your soft drink which we or we call it as aerated drinks so this is a basic information so please note it they may ask you you have to memorize everything in this nothing no logic in this just simple memorize the whole table as it is